The complete manual for Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes. It's difficult to ignore the similarities between the American Pitbull Terrier and the Dogo Argentino dog breeds. They not only share a similar appearance, but also a reputation, albeit one that is not entirely true. Sadly, these breeds are the subject of many unjust myths. These two parent breeds were made for each other in many ways, despite the fact that their personalities aren't exactly the same as you might initially think. The Dogo Pit is sometimes perceived as an aggressive and mean dog, much like its parent breeds, but nothing could be further from the truth. We made the decision to write this article so that we could tell you the truth about these adorable dogs and dispel any myths that may exist regarding this mixed breed and its parent breeds. It would be wise for you to learn everything you can about a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix's temperament, health, and dietary requirements if you're interested in adopting one. All of those topics are covered in this article, along with some additional intriguing details about Dogo Pits that you may not have previously known. The Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix. What is it? A Dogo Argentino and a Pitbull were crossed to create the Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix, also known as Dogo Pitbull or Dogo Pit. The American Pitbull Terrier, although occasionally the American Staffordshire Terrier, is the variant of the Pitbull that is most frequently used to create this mixed breed. It was difficult to predict how an Argentino slash pit mix would act because, despite their physical similarity, the two breeds typically have dissimilar personalities. But in a way, it's fair to say that it ended up having the best of both worlds. The Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix is a rare breed of dog that looks physically like a Pitbull but has a temperament that combines many other distinct personality traits from both of its parent breeds. We must first understand this crossbreed's ancestry in order to fully comprehend everything there is to know about it. Family Breeds The Dogo Argentino and the Pitbull, as we previously stated, are the two breeds combined to produce this hybrid. These two items are fairly well known and are frequently found in the homes of dog owners all over the world. Although it might seem as though we already know everything there is to know about these breeds, this isn't the case. Furthermore, even if we had complete knowledge, it doesn't follow that we could foresee what a crossbreed between the two would look like. We are here to fill in the gaps because, as we previously stated, there are still some things about them that you may not be aware of. This article's next few sections will be devoted to discussing the characteristics of pit bulls and Dogo Argentinos, as well as their past. Dogo Argentina The history of the Dogo Argentino also referred to as the Argentine Mastiff, is very lengthy and intricate. It was created for the first time in 1928 by Antonio Noores Martinez, a physician from Córdoba, Argentina. His goal was to breed a strong, courageous dog that would excel in both combat and hunting. He interbred the Córdoba fighting dog with several other purebred canines, primarily those from the Bulldog and Terrier breed families, to achieve this. Dr. Martinez used the Great Dane, Irish Wolfhound, Dogue de Bordeaux, Pointer, Bull and Terrier, and other breeds in his breeding program. As you can see, all of these breeds have demonstrated traits in common, including strong awareness and instinct, stamina and strength, obedience and discipline, as well as an excellent sense of smelling out and pursuing prey. The Dogo Argentino dogs quickly rose to the top of the list of preferred hunting companions throughout their native Argentina, South America, and eventually the entire world. Appearance Argentinos have a very muscular and powerful appearance, like many other dogs that were bred for this purpose. They are very dynamic, alert, and agile thanks to their beautifully proportioned and elegant bodies. Their average adult height is approximately 27 inches, and their average weight is between 70 and 80 pounds, which indicates that they are relatively slim for their size. They have a very short, white coat that occasionally has markings of other colors. Even though some kennel clubs do not recognize any markings as being part of the breed standard, they can still exist, especially in black or brindle. Personality Dogos Argentinos are renowned for their bravery, intelligence, and keen natural instincts because they are hunting dogs. They fiercely guard their families and would do anything to keep them secure. 
Despite their reputation for being serious and unsociable, they actually enjoy participating in family activities. They do, however, draw a distinction between family and strangers because they have a very wary attitude toward them. Despite the fact that they are less possessive than some watchdogs, they are still hesitant to trust strangers. Pitbull The American Pitbull Terrier is the more popular choice, though Dogo Pits can occasionally be produced by breeding a Dogo Argentino with an American Staffordshire Terrier. The first pit bulls were created in England in the middle of the 19th century by breeding now extinct Old English Terriers and Old English Bulldogs. An aggressive, athletic, and powerful dog that would be suitable for fighting and hunting was the goal of this crossbreed. The breed was originally given the names Bull and Terrier by the English breeders, but once the dogs arrived in America, the name American Pit Bull Terrier, APBT, caught on and has since become the most widely used for these canines. APBTs are closely related to many other breeds of dogs, including the American Bulldog, Boxer, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and American Bully Breed, to name a few, in terms of both their genetic heritage and outward appearance. Although the term pit bull is frequently used to refer to an entire group of dogs, many people contend that only APBTs qualify as true pit bulls, so we will only use it in that sense in this article. In their early history, they were primarily used for brutal blood sports like bull and bear baiting, which caused them to develop many of the aggressive traits for which they are known. Fortunately, these activities were outlawed in the UK near the end of the 1800s, and today pit bulls are bred for companionship. Appearance Pit bulls are a medium-sized breed distinguished by their powerful but stocky build. Pit bulls weigh an average of 35 to 60 pounds and are typically 18 to 21 inches tall at the withers when fully grown. They typically have thick, tapered tails, tiny, pointy ears, and eyes that are almond or round-shaped. Their coat is noticeably short, smooth, and stiff, as well as being extremely shiny. With the exception of the merle pattern, which isn't regarded as up to standard, kennel clubs recognize a wide range of different coat color combinations. The most typical hues are black, red, and buckskin, while the tuxedo and solid patterns are used the most frequently. Personality One of the happiest and most spirited breeds of dogs is the pit bull. They are very active pets who require a lot of space and exercise because of their excitement and enthusiasm. That energy, though, can be misdirected and manifest as unwanted aggression toward other dogs or even people if it is not properly trained. Many people mistakenly believe pit bulls to be a breed that naturally seeks out conflict and is aggressive, but that is not the case. To learn how to manage their energy appropriately, they simply need a lot of early training and socialization. Pit bulls who have received proper training are adorable companions who love to play and cuddle with their owners. The Dogo Argentino Pit Bull Mixes History Designer breeds are more challenging to trace historically than purebreds. There are many historical tidbits that we are aware of, but the first Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixed dog was sadly never officially recorded or documented anywhere. The first Dogo Argentino was developed in 1928 by Argentinian surgeon Dr. Antonio Nowers Martinez. He planned to create a canine that is skilled at locating and hunting down wild animals. Hunting was Dr. Martinez's favorite pastime and he was a big dog lover, so he essentially combined the two. In the end, the now extinct Cordoba fighting dog was crossed with a variety of purebred dogs to produce the modern Dogo Argentino breed. Pit bulls, on the other hand, were created in England before being brought to America in the 1870s. One of the reasons the American Pit Bull Terrier was most frequently chosen for breeding was because it was specifically bred to be an exceptional fighting dog. Due to the long history of both pit bulls and Dogo Argentinos as fighting dog breeds, we can infer that breeders wish to combine the characteristics of the two breeds to create a more robust and powerful dog. The American Kennel Club does not currently recognize the Dogo Argentino Pit Bull Crossbreed, AKC. The appearance of the Dogo Argentino Pit Bull Mix. Now that we've covered their convoluted and turbulent past, it's time to discuss this fascinating breed's other characteristics. When discussing any particular dog breed, one of the main topics is how it looks. 
Because of how closely the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix resembles its parent breeds physically, it can be challenging for people to tell them apart. Due to its appearance, you might initially think that this dog is just a typical pit bull, but upon closer inspection, you will discover that it is actually a mixed breed. Additionally, they have traits that combine the opposing personalities of a pit bull and a Dogo Argentino. This hybrid can be distinguished from others, though, in certain ways. So without further ado, let's describe how these dogs actually appear. Size Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes are truly enormous dogs when they are fully grown. They range in size from 18 to 27 inches tall and 35 to 100 pounds in weight. A year and a half is typically when they reach their full size. They are typically larger than Labrador Retrievers and roughly the same size as Doberman or Cane Corsos, as you can see. The dog is larger than a typical pit bull, with longer, stronger legs. The body is typically long with a short, whip-like tail at the end. The Dogo Argentino pit bull hybrid dog's overall appearance conveys a solid and powerful stance. Its more laid-back behavior stands in stark contrast to its intimidating-looking athletic build. But you should know that the Dogo Argentino breed takes a while to mature. You can expect a Dogo Pit puppy to mature at the age of three if it carries the genes of this parent breed. If they are raised in a cramped environment where movement is discouraged, they may become lethargic and prone to putting on weight. Colors of Coat One of the most effective visual representations of a mixed breed dog's intricate genetic makeup is the color of its coat. In a litter of mixed breed puppies, color prediction is practically impossible. There aren't as many variations of the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix, primarily because of the Argentine Mastiff parent breed's coloration. All Dogo Argentinos are entirely white. According to the breed standards outlined by the AKC in 2020, they are anticipated to have an entirely white coat. A black or dark spot that appears on the head and covers no more than 10% of the surface is the only color that is allowed. A Dogo Pit typically has a short, straight coat that is completely white as a result. Others may have a tiny black spot on one ear or in the area around one eye, similar to a pirate's eye patch. Any unusual coloring a Dogo Pit may have typically stems from its pit bull ancestry. This includes hues like fawn, brown, black, and other coat colors for pit bulls. The temperament of the Dogo Argentino Pit Bull Mix Despite their similarity in appearance, the Argentino Dogo and the APBT have very different temperaments. The loving temperament of a pit bull and the natural protectiveness of a Dogo Argentino are best combined in a pit bull slash Dogo Argentino mix. Due to its special characteristics, this hybrid makes a great family pet, watchdog, or even service dog. This dog is well known for having an incredible amount of patience with children. They might not be the best choice for families with young children, though, because of their strong prey drive. Playtime needs to be watched carefully at all times. A Dogo pit owner is not someone who is easily intimidated. An authoritative owner who can serve as the pack leader is necessary for this mixed breed. The pit Dogo can be uncooperative and disobey commands when handled by a new owner. Dogo Argentino pit bull hybrids are typically wary of strangers, and they may even become uneasy if they perceive any kind of threat. They are wary of strangers and have the ability to protect their possessions and themselves if they feel threatened by them or their pack. They may bark loudly to warn their owners of potential intruders. They will become obedient, well-balanced pets that are ideal for the entire family if they are raised properly. Do Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes make good family dogs? When raised by responsible owners who instill good manners in them from the time they are young puppies, Dogo Pits can make wonderful house pets. These dogs are naturally loyal, considerate, and sociable, and with the right care, you can watch those qualities flourish. With the members of their human family, they are known to become animated and amiable, and they frequently express a desire to take part in family activities. Additionally, due to their fierce loyalty to their owners, early socialization and training are essential for Dogo Pits. You'll have a best friend for life if you can pull that off successfully. Does the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix get along well with kids? 
The unconditional and unwavering loyalty of Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes is one of their best traits. Children are also included in this loyalty. They simply need to be gradually introduced to them and accustomed to their presence at a young age. However, since this breed does not naturally get along with strangers, you should exercise extra caution with any kids who are not family members. Do Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes get along well with other dogs? Like people, dogs are by nature sociable animals, and Dogo Pitbulls are no different. They will quickly become the preferred dog among the neighborhood packs if you can get them used to being around other dogs at an early age. Just watch them closely at first to make sure that none of the participating dogs have any aggressive tendencies. The health of the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. The good news for prospective Dogo Pit owners is that this breed tends to be incredibly robust and healthy. In actuality, they live 8 to 15 years on average, which is a little longer than, say, their pit bull parents. But from their parent breeds, they might inherit some genetically based health issues. Cerebellar abiotrophy, hip dysplasia, deafness, hypothyroidism, and various skin conditions are some of the most prevalent and or dangerous ones. We will go into more detail on each of these in the section that follows. Cerebellar abysmia. The cerebellum cells gradually deteriorate in dogs with cerebellar abiotrophics, an inherited degenerative condition. Symptoms of canine cerebellar degeneration include loss of balance, poor posture, and a lack of coordination, and they typically worsen over time. Dysplastic hips. The Dogo Pit is regrettably not an exception to the widespread problem of hip dysplasia that plagues many large breed dogs. The best way to describe this issue is that the hip's ball and socket joint is underdeveloped. Deafness. In Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes, is typically inherited or brought on by ear trauma. This can be determined by watching how your dog reacts to noise. Deaf dogs frequently exhibit excessive barking, an odd voice, hyperactivity, and disorientation. Typically, all reputable breeders are supposed to conduct a bear, brainstem auditory evoked response test, which is an electrodiagnostic test that examines the components of the dog's ears to deduce if it is deaf or not. Hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is most commonly the result of a thyroid disease called autoimmune thyroiditis. It's characterized by an unnatural increase of lymphocytes, macrophages, and plasma cells in the Dogo Pit's thyroid gland. Skin Issues Dogo Pits are more prone to many skin issues due to allergies because of their short hair. Skin redness and itching are common symptoms of atopic allergies brought on by dust, mold, pollen, and dust mites. The abdomen, foot, skin folds, and ears are other areas where skin irritation can be seen. Diet and exercise. Diet and exercise are the two main pillars of raising a dog. Giving your pet the proper nutrition and balancing it with enough exercise will ensure that it remains in the best possible physical shape. Dogo pits are a very large breed, which means that they will eat a lot of dog food, but just like with human food, the number one requirement is that it's of the highest quality. Additionally, they will also need a decent amount of exercise and physical activity, especially during their development stages, so that they grow properly. But let's explain those two important dog lifestyle aspects separately and in more detail. How much does the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix eat? A large crossbreed dog like a Dogo Pit needs a diet high in protein and low in unnecessary fats and carbohydrates. For advice on premium dog foods, you should also speak with your veterinarian. This breed, in general, requires a diet that supports healthy skin, strong bones, and muscle growth. Your Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix should be fed two to three portions of dog food each day at the same time, regardless of the time of day. As puppies, they might receive smaller, more frequent meals. You should keep an eye on their weight and abstain from providing them extra treats in order to stop the development of bone disorders. How much physical activity does the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix need? When it comes to exercise, it's more important to do the right kind of activities than the sheer amount of them. The Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix is an extremely strong, muscular dog breed, 
and they need activities that will promote muscle growth and stimulate their bodies. Dogo pits require around one hour of physical activity each day. They might enjoy going on bike rides or jogging together. Intense cardio workouts can also be added to encourage muscular growth. Training and Socialization Aside from physical activity and nutrition, which are the two basic necessities, you also need to put some time and effort into your dogo pitch training and socialization. If you start these processes on time and if you do them right, you will be rewarded with a dog that grows up into an exemplary pet that takes pleasure in following your orders and instructions and is also comfortable in the company of other humans and animals. Is the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix easy to train? The shortest possible answer is no. But not because they are unintelligent, but rather because they can have a mind of their own and they need someone with authority. That's the type of person they will respect and listen to. Dogo Argentino Pitbull hybrids need a self-assured owner who can start training them at an early age. They are bright dogs, but when treated carelessly, they may become rather stubborn and headstrong. They can receive efficient crate and toilet training as well as basic obedience training through the use of positive reinforcement techniques. How to socialize the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix? They need to be socialized from an early age, especially if you have other indoor pets around them. Cats and other smaller animals can be seen as prey by them, and they might make an effort to chase them, which can lead to injury. Try exposing them to other dogs first, and then slowly introduce different animals, such as cats, rabbits, or hamsters. Do this while they are still very young so that they will naturally start thinking of these animals as friends rather than prey. Their primal instinct is to consider smaller creatures as prey, so if you don't teach them otherwise, you can run into problems. The Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix Grooming Needs Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mixes are thought to require little upkeep because they have short hair. They just need to be brushed once a week because they shed so little all year round. Since Dogo Pits often have all white coats, they are more likely to get visibly dirty. You shouldn't be reluctant to give your dog a bath if they have spent the entire day outside. However, you should be aware that taking frequent baths might cause their skin to become irritated and lose some of its natural oils. To avoid infections, make sure to wash in between their ears. When washing their coats, only use a shampoo that has been recommended by a veterinarian because they are prone to skin disorders. You should also trim your dog's nails using a sharp nail trimmer every couple of months and brush their teeth or give them dental chews once a week. The Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix Price A Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixed breed puppy typically costs between $2,000 and $4,000 on average. The Dogo Argentino parent breed, which is expensively priced, is to blame for the high price tag of the crossbreed. You can go to your neighborhood rescue or shelter and adopt a Dogo Pit Puppy if you'd like a less expensive choice. The typical adoption price ranges from $50 to $350. The final cost of these dogs also depends on the parent breed's bloodlines, the scarcity of certain colors and markings, and the reputation of the breeder. Of course, you should also consider the costs associated with raising this dog on a monthly, annual, and lifetime basis. Knowing what a Dogo Argentino slash Pitbull mix is likely to cost up front can help you plan your budget appropriately. Below is a table that details most of the costs associated with taking care of a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixed breed dog. Pros and cons of owning a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. There are positives and negatives to basically anything in life, and that is also the case with owning a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. Mixed breeds are always more complex than purebred dogs, so that usually means that there are a lot of possible pros and cons to owning them. To simplify your decision and shed some light on both the good and the bad stuff, we've made this handy list of the pros and cons of owning a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. The pros. Let's start with the good news first and move on to the more disappointing stuff later. We have selected three particular pros of these dogs and have listed them here in no particular order. So, let's get into them. Good health. Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes have a lower risk of congenital illnesses. 
Given that their parents do not possess the genes for these disorders, designer dogs like the Dogo Pit are less susceptible to inherited diseases. A method of selective breeding can help with this. Unique appearance. A dog with distinctive physical characteristics is produced when a Dogo Argentino and Pitbull are crossed. Despite the similarity in build between these two breeds, you'll note that the hybrid is slightly taller and has a longer muzzle. Combine that with a smooth and shiny white coat, and what you get is a beautiful little pooch. Well, not so little, if we're being honest. Improving behavior. Despite the reputation that unfairly follows their parent breeds, Dogo Pits are becoming more popular than ever in recent times because of their milder temperament. Years of selective breeding have successfully managed to produce a dog that combines the best personality traits of American Pitbull Terriers and Dogos Argentinos. The cons. Okay, it's now time for the not so good news. Just like in the previous section, we've selected three distinct points that you need to be wary of when deciding to adopt a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. The cost. A Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix Puppy is not exactly a cheap buy, as you might have already gathered from the article. Due to the breeder's hefty medical costs and specialized breeding methods, they command a high premium. Risky birth. Unsafe delivery is possible if the mother is a Pitbull breed. The veterinarian will need to perform a C-section in these situations to protect the mother and puppies. After this surgery, the majority of dogs recover fast, but there is always a risk that it won't go smoothly. Unpredictable size. Although both of its parent breeds are large breed dogs, it is difficult to accurately predict the size of a Dogo Pit when it is fully grown. In addition to genetics, their size and weight are also influenced by environmental conditions, food, and pre-existing medical conditions. Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix Breeders. Okay, so you've deemed the price ranges acceptable, you've weighed up all the pros and cons, and have finally decided that you want to go through with adopting a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. The only thing that remains is finding the right breeder. Finding a trustworthy breeder to get a puppy from should be your top consideration when buying a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. An ethical breeder of designer dogs will ensure that their puppies are strong, healthy, and have great manners. We searched all over the internet and finally came up with a short list of three breeding organizations that we think offer you the best choices. Below are short descriptions of each of them. Greenfield Puppies. Greenfield Puppies is a website that provides high quality pit bulls and Dogos Argentinos, as well as a lot of mixes produced by either of those breeds. One of those mixes is, of course, the Dogo Pit. They specialize in breeding and raising these dogs for companionship, but they don't neglect their watchdog abilities either. Lancaster Puppies Similarly to the previous one, Lancaster Puppies is an online database of puppies for sale, but the difference here is the sheer number of various purebred and mixed breed dogs that you can select from. You can use all the different filters on their website search function to comb through the numerous breeds and find your perfect Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix. Puppy Finder. Puppy Finder, as its name may suggest, is an online directory of puppies for sale, and occasionally they will have a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix in their collection. You might not be able to get one immediately, but if you check back often enough you might catch an available Dogo Pit. Even if you don't, Puppy Finder has a lot of other resources that you can use if you want to learn more about what it takes to be a dog owner. Pitbull and Dogo Argentino Breeders. Apart from the breeding services that we have listed above, you can also try your luck by asking any Pitbull breeders or Dogo Argentino breeders in and around your area. For example, you can find a Pitbull breeder and ask if they breed this particular mix or if they would be interested to do it for you. Another option is to go through any pet shelters, rescues, and adoption agencies that are available to you and check if they perhaps have a Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix in their ranks. Frequently asked questions about Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixed dogs. We have covered a lot of interesting and important info in this article so far, but there are always some burning questions that we can't seamlessly fit anywhere. 
That's why we've made this little FAQ section of the article where we will directly tackle some of the most commonly asked questions by people on the internet. If you're one of those people, and you probably are since you are reading this article, then this part might be a great read for you. Are Dogo Argentino people mixes dangerous? Despite the bad reputation that they sometimes get, Dogo Argentino Pitbull crossbreed dogs are not actually aggressive animals. This mixed breed does not represent a threat to its owners or other people, even though both of its parent breeds are often misrepresented as being aggressive. Also, contrary to what most people believe, it doesn't have locking jaws. The fact of the matter is that they aren't violent at all, they are instead very kind and sociable dogs. How much do Dogo Argentino Pitbull mixes shed? Argentina Dogo Pitbull hybrids have short coats, making them extremely low shedding dogs, much like their Pitbull ancestors. Even though they still lose some fur, it won't be as obvious or as difficult to groom as in long haired breeds. This eliminates the need for frequent fur removal from the couch and bed sheets. Is the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix good for people with allergies? Unfortunately, no. Being hypoallergenic is a trait that is generally inherited from the parents, and since neither American Pitbull Terriers nor Dogos Argentinos are hypoallergenic breeds, their crossbreed doesn't have that desirable characteristic either. Final Thoughts The Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix is one of those fascinating mixed breeds that not a lot of people have heard of. The aim of this article was to bring this crossbreed closer to the general public and perhaps inspire people to learn more about them. That's why we tried to include everything we possibly could about the Dogo Pit, from details about their appearance and personality, diet, exercise, and training, as well as some of the most common health issues that affect these dogs. That is great info not only if you wanted to get yourself familiar with the Dogo Argentino Pitbull mix, but also if you had hopes of adopting one and bringing it into your home. Before adopting any dog, it's vital that you educate yourself about its traits so that you can be prepared to raise it in the best possible way. If you have decided that the Dogo Pit is the best dog for you personally, then we hope that this article has shed some light on this crossbreed and given you the confidence to look for a Dogo Argentino Pitbull Mix puppy yourself.